Alright people, welcome back to our next exciting video guys. Alright guys, so today, as you guys can see, I got Lenovo Legion Go 2. This is the Z2 Extreme chip. And as you guys know already, we got a new amazing OLED screen on this device. Already, just by looking at it, you could already tell the difference in the screen and how it looks and how vibrant it looks and how it's popping out and how everything just looks better on this device, guys. You just gotta use it to know exactly what I'm talking about, right? You're probably not gonna be able to see it exactly what I'm talking about on camera. Just looking at the screen, it looks amazing. And plus the screen size as well, yeah, man, I'm telling you, this is it right here. I'm so excited right now. I know a lot of you guys are very excited about this as well. So I'm just going to go over this device and give you some tips and tricks and how to have a smooth experience with your device and how to get it up and running and everything. You guys know how it looks already. Got everything up top. I'm not going to go too in-depth in that because I know there's a lot of videos online already showing you guys how it looks and what's going on. So let's get into it. All right, let me show you what's going on, guys. All right, so the first thing I want you guys to do, right? Out the box, you want to change the VRAM. You don't want to do anything else, but the first thing you want to do is change the VRAM because out the box, I don't know what's going on, but it's the VRAM is set to two gigabytes and that's not good for nothing at all, guys. So you want to go to the BIOS and you want to change the VRAM. So now you want to pull off the device and you want to hold volume up, then turn it on, press the power button, and then you should boot up in the, the BIOS. All right, so when you're here, you wanna to go to BIOS setup, then you wanna to go to more settings, then you wanna come down to display settings. When you're here, you will see UMA frame buffer size. So see right there, guys, I'm not sure why they have it at two gigs. This is crazy. So you wanna hit that, and you got four, eight, 16. Not sure why I'm not seeing all the other sizes, cause it goes up to 32. You should, should be able to see 12 and 24 and stuff like that. 16, I think, you could go with 16 as well. Cause that's the only the highest option you have right now. Actually, on my system, I gotta look into it and see what's going on. But it's only showing me these options. I would say stick with eight for now. I mean, you could go to 16 gigabyte if you want, but I think 16 is kind of 16 is kind of an overkill depending on what you're doing. So eight should be good, guys. So click on eight. Once I figure out why is it not showing my other options, I'll make a video on that and let you guys know what's going on. Right. So now once you do that, you put eight gigabytes. You want to come down. You want to go to exit. You want to go to exit and save changes. Then hit yes. Once you're here, I just want to show you guys my memory size. As you guys can see already, I already got Xbox full screen experience mode installed on the device. Did it last night. I haven't really used it yet, but I got it installed up and running. Um, you want to go to desktop mode real quick. Hit continue. Minimize that. And then you want to go to task manager, guys. So you go to task manager, show you what's going on. Then you want to go to want to go to performance and here you'll see the max amount you have is 32 gigabytes right here guys then if you go to gpu you'll see how much you have dedicated to gpu memory 8.5 gigabytes so now let's also go to the amd application and see if we can actually change the size in there if they have different options in there right once you come here, you go to performance, then you go to tuning, and here as well, you see your memory size, remaining system memory. You click on that, and it's showing you 16, 24 extra. So, yeah, so it's not showing me any extra settings in here where I could put up the VRAM in it differently. So, now the next main thing you want to do, guys, before you get into anything else, guys, you want to make sure everything is updated. So, you can go to Legion Space, check and see if there is a driver update. So once you open this up, you go to settings, you go to driver, then you check for update. If there's any update, you want to do that. Mine didn't have an update, so I was good on that part. You should have the latest update that came out in October, I think October 9th. Yeah, so I think that's the latest driver, October 9th. And you, you also want to go to Windows. So you go to Windows, you want to check for updates, and you want to go in here, and you want to also check for any updates that is in there guys make sure that all of everything is up to date make sure you have the latest everything guys see right now i got some updates going on all right so there's a couple more things i need you guys to do this will help you with performance and how your game runs in your device and how you experience while playing games right so you want to come to here you want to type in core isolation come in here core isolation and it says where it says memory integrity you want to turn this off guys this right here 
this is recommended by microsoft that you disable it if you want the best performance out of your system if you're just a main gamer guys if you're just playing games and not doing any type of sketchy stuff on your device anything crazy like pirating games or pirating any type of stuff thing like that right or putting your device at risk then you want to turn this off you want to leave this on if you're doing anything sketchy because this helps to protect your system from any type of attack and anything like that but as i said this is recommended by microsoft now you disable it to get the best performance while gaming guys so you want to turn this off next thing i want you guys to do come down here you want to type in windows features go on here now if you got a virtual machine platform checked you want to uncheck that and that will also help with your performance guys all right so next thing i want you guys to do if you guys are using a full screen experience uh with, the, with your system and you want to use game bar just like this if i press this button it brings up game bar for me and this new game bar i kind of like it the way how it looks and the way i would integrate with the system and how you can use it to further better your experience right so i kind of like it so i'm using it here and there depending on what i'm doing if you want to assign it to make sure you could use it you want to go to Legion Space. Once you're here, go back, go to Controllers. Then you want to go to the button mapping. When you're here, you want to click View Edit Layout. Then this is the button right here. You want to set to it. If you don't want to use that, you can use a different button if you want. You don't want to use it. When you come in here at first, you will see it, it says Win plus D. But if you want to change it, you can. You want to press in this. You want to come all the way over here to combination and then you want to delete whatever is there leave win and then you select g once you're done you press y save command then you just press this test it out and you should be up and running guys all right so with your game bar guys i'm gonna show you something real quick you got your, all your your apps like your launcher apps you got your recently played game will be right here you got your home the library will bring it straight there guys you're pressing this again you got all your settings right here as well so while you're in the game you can pull all of this up guys and then you have it at your fingertips so you could change your wi-fi your bluetooth turn on airplane mode then you go to more settings you could also exit or enter full screen experience from right here guys you can also show keyboard if you want to do that as well come over you got your microsoft edge assist right so you can search the web real quick see what's going on while you're playing the game come over you got all your xbox friends your fingertips as well you communicate with them then you got a game in cool pilot so now if you're in a game you're trying to be the level you're trying to be the boss you come here you could just press talk and ask how do you beat this boss how do you beat this level and it will try to further assist you from there come over you got your sounds audio so you got mix and you can mess with that as well come over to your capture section so you can do a screenshot then uh in-game recording also recording as well then you can also do turn your microphone on off and then you can click this and it brings you straight to your capture folder or if you come over you should see it right here as well also got your performance uh metrics right here as well you see your vram cpu gpu ram everything that's going on also your fps then you come over you got some more settings in here if you want to mess with that as well you could also go to the widget store and add more widgets the way i have set up if you press this button you can switch between apps like this as well if you want or if you just swipe up you could also switch like this as well it's up to you how you want to do it guys all right so one more thing i want to show you guys if you open up your flight menu once you come to right here this little rocket and performance um you got quiet balance performance custom so you customize it if you want as well so this is your wattage so it goes all the way up to 35 i think the performance is 20 balance is like 17 and quiet is a little bit below that right correct me if i'm wrong in the description box down below because it's not actually showing me right here but if you go to legion space you should be able to see it but um if you're in performance and you're trying to have the smoothest experience you want to make sure your os power mode is inefficient even if you're in custom you want to make sure it's on efficiency because reason being because this is your cpu up here is basically a gpu so now if you have this and performance you're taking power from gpu so if you're playing video games or anything like that any type of game or gpu intensive task you want to make sure your os power mode is on efficiency so you put less power towards the cpu and more towards gpu 
on all my systems it's always on cpu because i don't really do anything else i don't play games so yeah so whatever one you're on whatever game you're playing make sure this is on efficiency so you get the best experience while playing the game and you will see an, an improvement like with your fps and everything on your system so keep that in mind guys and also if you want to customize it you will come in here as well you can also do this in leading space as well and you go all the way down all the way up to 35 let's say you're at 25 watts right then your sttp your sttp is sustained for about like two minutes and then your fttp i think it's around like 10 minutes guys so once you just boot up your system and your game and thing like that this is your sustain one which is the spl right which, is, which i have at 25 watts right now so this will be the sustain wattage while playing the game the sttp this is for like two minutes you will see it if you're watching your metrics tracker once that all those time frames are done your sustain is what keep the game running after that guy so that's how you edit that if you want and usually people people stagger them a little bit and you don't really need 35 watts to be honest you don't really need 35 watts because most game you won't see a gain in your fps or your performance if you're at 35 watts so you want to mainly be in performance around like 20 or you want to probably boot it up to like 25 depending on what you're doing and then you should be good at 25 guys so if you're doing custom i'll say stick around like 25 27 around there and you that should cover almost any game that you have as i said if you go to 35 you really won't see it not right now you really won't see a big difference right now probably like a one or two gain in fps but that's just draining your battery real fast if you're running on battery all right so now let's get into some settings that will help you with your performance and give you a better visual fidelity and experience while playing with your system right you want to go to the md the general software so you can go to the game gaming then you can go to games you can choose whatever game you want so let's say, let's say i'm doing assassin's creed this way you could tweak your games right to make it look how you want it to look right so once you come in here you got md for multi frames 2.1 not sure how i'll be using that but you can turn it on if you want to use that for that game right uh, and most of the thing that i use i use radiant image sharpening you just turn this on and i put it around like between 70 to 80 percent this gives you a sharper image and makes it not look too blurry yeah, depending on what resolution you're playing at. if you're playing at 800p if you're playing at 800p then this you want to add this up a little bit so to give you a sharper look and the screen the game doesn't look too blurry usually what um if i go down as well you go to advanced what i'm usually running as well you will start surface optimization usually i'll do some performance and then surface performance optimization usually i'll turn that on as well and then usually go to tessellation as well then i go to override then i go to 2x so with tessellation this helps you add the rocks and the surface right so on the ground it gives you like a little more details on your in your games so when you're looking at the rocks give you a little bit more details i go up more in depth with this um when i'm doing like game re reviews and game comparison so it gives you a little more deep more details in the games guys you come over to this side you got you can turn your amd free sync from here as well you can also mess with custom colors all right so one more thing you guys should turn off right if you go back to home if you go to i think if you go to settings right here yep. then you come to display when you come down see it says very bright i want to turn this off if you have it on it says optimize for battery it do save power on your battery when you're playing your games when you're plugged in this is not in effect but once you plug it out you will see a little bit of difference in your screen and how it looks because it's optimizing your screen optimizing your screen so you can save power on your battery but I don't really like how it looks. So I always keep this off, guys. So bring it all the way down so you get the full visual fidelity from your device. And this is the OLED screen. You want to get the best experience from it. And that's why you pay you $1,400 because you want to get the best experience from your screen. And because it's OLED, right? So you want to turn it off. Next thing too, right here, if you look, it says OLED power optimization. If you hover over it, it says save power by adaptively adjusting display brightness and based on the image content, right? So you can turn this on, helps you to save power. Then you also got refresh rate auto switch, extend battery life by lowering the internal panel refresh rate while laptop is not be plugged in into AC adapter. So if you turn this off, if you turn this on, it might lower your 
refresh rate so keep that in mind as well but also you get to save battery life yeah guys so that's basically it for now if once there once i find any more tips and tricks to make your experience any better on this device i'll definitely make a video on it i also do an intensive dive on windows to clear up anything that's running in the background that could hinder your performance right but as microsoft said full screen experience once you have that um turned on it do reduce the stuff that's running in the background and it helps you with the performance right because it's a it's a dumbed down version of windows so it's not full windows everything always running that you don't need that's basically for now guys um if you have any video ideas for me let me know i'll be doing some gameplay comparison between the old legion go the ally x xbox and some other devices and see what's going on but that's basically for now thanks for tuning in guys and remember to always say health is world peace and love i'm out guys thanks for tuning in